Today we also learn Sheriff Daniels could face up to eight years in prison if he's convicted of the criminal charges he faces. Here's a breakdown of the maximum possible sentence. Court filings show the sheriff, who is up for re-election, is charged with lying to both his own deputies and to state investigators. He's also charged with deleting information from his phone after having his ex-girlfriend arrested. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley is joining us now live from the sheriff's office. Kelly? Yeah, this resignation comes as we got a lot more information about the, what these charges stem from. We also heard from the special prosecutor in this case who responded to Sheriff Daniels after he defended himself on Facebook. Court filings allege Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels altered, destroyed, or removed records on his cell phone, impairing the state's investigation. Special Prosecutor Brad King alleged the sheriff did this on the day this police report was filed against his admitted mistress, Sierra Smith. That day, one of his deputies wrote, based off Sheriff Daniels' statement and Sierra's own admission that she followed Sheriff Daniels with the intent to get him to stop his vehicle, I placed the suspect under arrest for some stalking. Deputies later decided not to take Smith to jail or go any further after she divulged the two were engaged in an extramarital affair. Sheriff Daniels is also accused of providing false statements to that same deputy, a charge that can amount to a year in prison. Daniels is accused another two times of lying to FDLE investigators. In a video statement Tuesday, the well, sheriff called the state prosecutor's charges suspicious, suspicious and dirty politics. Within days of a primary election, the powers that be, specifically the state attorney's office, has decided that today is the day that they will execute their plan and interfere with what's going on with the sheriff. Daniels also suggested that the special prosecutor was giving him an ultimatum to leave office and drop out of the race or face arrest and prosecution. It prompted special prosecutor Brad King to issue this letter saying, I do not know Sheriff Daniels, his politics, his opponents, nor for that matter, any citizen in Clay County. When I'm asked to prosecute a case, I do it based on the facts and the law and nothing else. And we've reached out to Sheriff Daniel's attorney earlier today for some response to the new information that we've gotten today on the charges and from the special prosecutor. It'll be interesting to see what happens next because you'll remember before this suspension by the governor, uh, Sheriff Daniel's attorney said he had no plans to resign and he had no plans to withdraw from this race. Reporting live in Clay County, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.